Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing something, doing another dumb thing today. Uh, there's some old, <laughs> this is really dumb. There's a couple of old uh, dump trucks, town trucks that were buried way back uh, in the in the 30s or, or early 40s in an old gravel pit in, in, in the village here. And I'm going to head down there. I got a couple guys coming to help me. My buddy Dave, of course. And my brother-in-law, Chris, is coming. He has a metal detector. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to just poke around a bit and see if it, it seems like we might have an idea where they could be. Uh, and if we, if we get a feeling like we might be in the right spot, then Dave will bring his excavator and we'll, we'll do a little digging. I'm not sure the metal detector is going to be much good because <laughs> it's an old dump. So there's all sorts of tin cans and stuff around. So that might be a lost cause. Uh, we don't really know what we're doing here just yet. Uh, we're just going to go down and see what we find. Uh, this, <laughs> this is all going off of something that my father told me when I was a kid. He kind of pointed and said, those trucks are buried in there somewhere. And something that my grandfather had written in his uh, life story about having buried the trucks down in there. So the trucks are a Lynn tractor. I think it was a 1929 Lynn tractor, which was a half-track truck. And a, a World War I surplus truck, which they called Liberty Trucks. In fact, I'll throw up, uh, when, I, when I edit the video, I'll throw up a picture here of a Lynn tractor. They were like a half-track truck. And the one Argyle had had a big V plow on it with great big snow blowers on each side. It had to be pretty interesting. And then this here is a, uh, is a is a Liberty truck. What a Liberty truck looked like. So, <laughs> you know, maybe they're buried in this gravel pit, and maybe they're not. But we're talking about something that happened probably around the time my father was born. He may have been a little kid, but. I can remember when dad told me about it, it wasn't, it didn't seem like he had witnessed this. It was, he was going off what he had heard. So this is pretty stupid, uh, but what the heck, we'll, we'll see if anything makes sense down there and we'll go from there. So this is the gravel pit and it don't really look like a gravel pit anymore because it's so grown up. It, it's been a dump since about 1930, probably. No, no, 1940. Um, so, you know, Dave's really looking forward to digging in here. And I'm all about treasure. Oh, there's buried treasures everywhere. What do you think? Gold? G Silver? N well, I'm not sure what color it was. What do you mean? The, the old, there's a, it's just, just the old truck that's buried. Thought you said it was a treasure hunt. It is a treasure hunt. There's old trucks buried, I think, in here. In there? I think right in there. <laughs> cool, right? Uh, how long? How long is the truck? I don't know, 16 feet, maybe? Well, how long has it been buried? Just before World War II. So four... Oh, so it's probably in real good shape. I think it's going to be really restorable, yeah. Is, what? That, is that it? Oh no, that's just garbage. Yeah, can. that's somebody's old tin can bucket. or bucket. See a bucket over there? I mean, if you want, you could take that bucket home. The handle's probably no, I did, I nearby. Didn't want to steal I think it's right in here, Dave. How hard could it be to you just... You got like x-ray vision or something? Well, no. We're going to use the metal detector, though, and then we'll know for sure. The metal detector. Yeah. Why do I listen to you? I, cause I'm, I'm a lot of fun uh, to be around, right? Not really sure about that anymore. <laughs> Why did you call Moffat? That's negative. I should have called Moffat. Moffat's probably working. Oh yeah, he's smart. He's making money. Yeah, he's making it, and we're just here losing. Yeah, yeah. Bring your excavator down. Yeah. Run some cheap diesel fuel through it. Yeah. Oh, I'll buy the diesel fuel. The cheapest kind I can find. Your wife ain't watching this, is she? No, she won't be watching. 
this. Nobody watches this. So where's your metal detector? Well, he's coming. He's coming? Yeah, my metal detector comes so with an you, operator. Uh, you I got people. You genderize your metal no, detector? No, 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 no. My metal detector comes with an operator. Oh, really? I got oh, people. So this is a big budget. This is operation. a big operation. It's a big production. Big production. Yeah. I think it's going to have to be. I already see at least one old Genesee bottle over there, and that's got to be worth money. Is this where you used to come when you were a kid? We're making money. No, no, actually, I, I don't. I used to go to the soup kitchen most of the time. I didn't hang around drinking beer. Oh, okay. Must be a different guy. Yeah, must be. <laughs> You're misremembering something. I wonder what that big hunk of cement right in there is. See it? Probably doesn't show in the video, but see yeah. that thing, Dave? Yeah, they probably capped the truck with concrete. Why would they do that? I don't know. That'd make it harder <laughs> Why to find. Would we come and dig up a truck that was buried just after world war two before i don't understand before. before yeah oh. i don't understand really your negativity uh what's the significance of this truck the, the significant it's a lynn tractor so it's a tractor no it's a tr it's a truck tractor it's a you just said a tractor it's a half track truck half track truck yeah and then the other one is a is a a Liberty truck. So that was a World War One surplus truck. Liberty. Liberty. Freedom. Freedom. That's what we're about here. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Yeah. So the Liberty truck, like I said, was World War One surplus. So that thing is old. That's probably a 19 oh something. 19 teen something. The Lynn tractor, that's modern. That's like 1920s. Oh, the 20s. Yeah, I'm you know, no, I'm sure it's in pretty good shape. 20s. They talking like Henry Ford and his were like wooden. There's, there's some wood, yeah. Oh, buried wood. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I mean, it's buried in gravel, so right. well drained. Huh. I can't wait to see it. I can't either. That's why we're here, Dave. Now I'm getting excited. Because I'm we can't wait. Negativity. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. We found our metal detector. How's it going? Carrying his metal detector. What are we supposed to be looking for? Well, there's trucks buried in here. Trucks. Yeah. Did I tell you treasure? He told me treasure. Yeah, that's what he told something me. Something about Civil War gold or something like that. Well, they're, they're, I mean, they're treasure. Yeah. Dave's going to treasure them because when we find them, they're going to go to his house. Ah. As long as they're not coming to my house. This is a good, well, one could. There's <laughs> two of them. So. Fantastic. All right. This is a good bird's eye view here. So there's. Dave down there. Dave's getting all negative. I don't know what that's about. It's not like him. But this is the gravel pit. You can kind of see the layout here, right? And all around the edge, it looks like a normal gravel pit. It's pretty steep. And then over there's the road where you come in. And then over here is gravel pit edge. Goes all the way around. But right here in the middle, Right off the road, there's a big spot that looks to me like it was filled in. And I think that's the spot where these treasures are buried. Now, were these things running when they put them in there? Uh, I assume not. I think they might have ran, but they were old and junky. I mean, they were scrap metal. And at that time, you had to take scrap metal to the port in order to get any money for it. So... It was not, it was out of the question that anybody would actually haul it to the port. Mm. Because it was before World War II. Got it. So this metal detector, does that only detect trucks? What about like tin cans? And <laughs> oh, lots of that. This, oh, it'll detect But that. if you get enough of those, you can build a truck. That's true. Trucks have been made from less. See, I like his attitude better than yours right now. So when we start going... <laughs> You're gonna, there's gonna, they're gonna be all over the place. Yeah, it's not gonna be a. It's not gonna say, "Here I am on the truck." No, you I'm put it. A... You put it on the truck mode, don't you? I'll put it on the truck mode. Yeah, I think truck it's mode. International, it's only international though. Oh no, this is a Lynn. Oh, I don't know if we can do that one. Huh? Oh my God. I'm not sure <laughs> what's gonna happen here. I got a feeling what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get picked on a lot. This is already. No doubt. This has already started. 
But we're gonna go over there in that area and we're gonna start detecting with this thing in truck mode so it won't go off for every rusty tin can. <laughs> and we're gonna see how that goes. So what's a 1920s Lynn tractor sound like when you find it? Is this gonna be steel or iron? It'll be a eh. eh. There it is, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. No, that was it. Old beer can? No, it's a, I don't know. Chunk of rain gutter or something. Would they, would they have put all the stone on top of it? They may have to cover it. The stone, the stone kind of tells you that it was dumped here. Yeah. Uh, but you don't really know why. Because this was the road. So that pile of stones right in the middle of what used to be the road. This is going to be more useful when we got a backhoe. Yeah. And we can start turning stuff. They may have just this dumped. This is only going to go down a foot. Oh. So they may have only dumped a pile of stone there to close the road. You know, so people couldn't come in and steel gravel look at Dave you got windows at your house you let me do it you got pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of ain't gonna hold much well, more negativity well at your age there ain't much to hold <laughs> well <laughs> that was interesting the metal detector really was not very handy like i suspected because it's just all old tin cans and glass bottles down there it's an old dump from probably started in the 1940s up and, until people stopped you know just dumping stuff over the bank like they used to i mean we definitely agreed that it kind of looks like there's one spot in the whole area that could have been a place where something was buried and a bunch of dirt and junk was was dumped on top of it the rest of it all really just looks like an, an old gravel bed and it's got some piles of things dumped in them but not big enough to hide a truck we're talking about back in the days of cable operated shovels uh not the modern day so i'm pretty sure they wouldn't have dug a hole to bury them in i think they would have just parked them and then dumped just trash and dirt and stuff over the top of them just fill because back then you didn't move dirt if you didn't have to. It was uh, not as easy as it is today. So I think we're going to, uh, I think maybe next weekend if the weather holds and our schedules are good, I think we're going to bring Dave's little excavator down and, and we'll do some digging. We'll see what we can find. So uh, make sure you click subscribe if you're interested. And that way you'll know when we put out the next video. I'm hoping it'll be just a week or so, but it's springtime and Things are getting a mite busy, so it's hard to uh, it's hard to find the time. But we're gonna we're gonna try to make that a plan, and we'll be optimistic. We're gonna dig them up next weekend, drag them out. Like I said, click subscribe, click the bell. The bell is to tell you when there's new videos about me digging up buried treasure. So that's very important. Make sure you tell your friends they need to be watching the town tinker. The guys like the village idiot. Only he's down in the dumps. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless United States of America.